Well, hello students, and uh, hope you're enjoying the course so far. We're now into our third week, and it appears from everything that I've been reading and seeing uh, that you're doing very well. Um, now that we're in our third week, we've completed our first exam. Uh, you've already seen your test scores, but let me give you a little breakdown of how that worked out. Uh, the average score was about 86 with over 10 students getting grades of 90 or higher. So this is really an excellent start. Hope the exam wasn't too easy. Uh, originally I said there would be an essay and normally my exams do include at least one essay. Uh, but I uh, wanted to give you a kind of a break on this first exam. And also I didn't ask any detailed questions on the Benjamin Franklin autobiography uh, which you're uh, reading. Uh, so the next exams might be a, a, a little more challenging, uh, but I wanted to get you off to a good start, and most of you are. Uh, for the few students who didn't do as well in this first one, I think uh, that uh, you have plenty of opportunities over the next four exams uh, to get your grades up. Uh, as for uh, your weekly assignments, again, uh, those grades are already posted, but I wanted to uh, comment on a few of them uh, that I thought were particularly interesting or outstanding for one reason or another. Uh, and here I'm just going to refer to you by your first names, uh, just in case other people uh, watch uh, this video. Uh, remember that only people who are enrolled in the course and have access to Blackboard through the ID and passwords can actually read your essays, uh, but the YouTube videos, uh, possibly other people may uh, be able to see, although I don't know for what reason they might want to do that. So I'll just refer to you by your first names. Uh, I thought that Janet's entry uh, on Pocahontas and Anne Hutchinson was outstanding in every respect. Uh, she posted it early in the week to get the discussion started. Uh, this makes her a class leader, just as those uh, em who emerge in a normal classroom. Uh, it was thoughtful, informative, analytical, and very well written. Uh, I would cite it as a model entry for those who are uh, trying to get tens on their weekly assignments. Uh, Kelly was another leader in this week's discussion. She posted an entry early to help get the conversation started. Uh, uh, her entry dealt with the tobacco issue. Many of the subsequent entries, this seemed to be a popular topic, uh, sounded repetitive if they merely restated what she said. Uh, if you post later in the week, move the conversation forward. That is, uh, if you post early, come back to see how people responded to your early entries. Uh, also, I was intrigued by Kathleen. Uh, she did something that I greatly admire and strongly encouraged. Uh, she logged in on different days uh, and offered short but insightful obs observations on uh, different topics covered during that week. So you don't just have to do one or limit yourself to one. Uh, she chimed in on a couple of topics uh, and I thought that was uh, interesting and helpful as well. Uh, just a few others. Um, uh, Adrian uh, demonstrated this week how to include supplemental material. Uh, she added information from websites or, or documents to the discussion. In this case, a menu of what foods were available to pilgrims. However, keep in mind uh, that your, uh, your grade is based on what you write. Uh, so do not submit information from websites or any of the sources as your assignment. She included it as a service to the class and then wrote her own opinions, and that's the way you should do it. Uh, Paul's submission is a good example of how to move the conversation forward. Rather than saying, I agree with what's already been said on a particular subject, in this case, uh, again, a discussion about tobacco, he moved the conversation forward by referencing the economic activities of the French and the Dutch uh, in North America, uh, who did not rely on tobacco, but thrived on the fur trade. Uh, trading and furs actually promoted more cooperative relations with the Indians and did not encourage the acquisition of their land. This was a point worthy of further exploration by other students. Um, again, a lot of good ones. I thought Amy was extremely thoughtful in her submission this week. First, she responded to students' comments related to the role of tobacco. Uh, then, as a Virginian, uh, she offered the beginnings of an explanation as to why uh, we focus more on the pilgrims settling in Massachusetts than we do on the Virginia experience. Other students could have picked up on this analysis and taken it deeper because she raised the question of romantic 
versus realistic portrayals of history. So, of course, the Virginia experience is more confrontational, more conflict with the Indians, and the Pilgrim experience, although it occurred later, is more romantic. And so in history, uh, the tendency to try to romanticize and focus on the pleasant and avoid the unpleasant, I thought she, she did a good job with that. Uh, finally, uh, for these examples, I thought that Pamela provided one of the most astute explanations for why women were the primary targets of witchcraft. Uh, her opinions were firmly rooted in an understanding of prevalent Christian beliefs of the period and a sound understanding of the roles of gender and class uh, that affected the treatment of people in that society. It was also... Go. Okay, so again, all in all, very good work, uh, both in your exam performance and in the quality of many of your uh, weekly assignments. Uh, as a final note, uh, I got some questions about the Benjamin Franklin text. Uh, because that work is no longer copyrighted, written in the 18th century, then many versions of the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin are available. And so the page numbers that I give on the syllabus may not correspond to the particular book that you have. Just keep in mind that it is the same book regardless of the cover. If it is the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin, it is the same book. And so as long as you're uh, reading approximately where we are, uh, then you're getting the same information. So again, hope you're enjoying the course. Hope you're having a great summer. And look forward to talking to you again next week. Bye-bye.